go. Welcome to season 56, Golden Time Talent. It's been a pleasure once again to vote and uh, to listen to so many wonderful pieces. I'll make it uh, concise and quick if I can, okay? But uh, importantly, I took the time and I was very impressed with everybody's entry. Well done to everybody. The first one I'd like to talk about is Anastasia Medved. She had an academic vocal. The song was slow. Uh, it was done live with full orchestra and uh, it was a Lord of the Rings cover. I gave nine out of 10 for that. She had good stage presence, good composure. The academic vocals were fantastic and it could easily have been heard in a movie, live, at Night of the Problems or something like that. Exquisite, thank you, well done. It was a joy to listen to. Vasco Bulgarelli, academic vocals. He had a wonderful song entry. The duet with the violin was uh, phenomenal. Countersinking perfectly all the way through. Um, and uh, I gave a nine out of 10 for that. Emil E. Standret's uh, pop vocals. I gave 9.5 for both of her entries for the songs. The first one, um, and she's 11 to 14 year old, which was called One Day. And then the other one um, was a harmony with a James Bond, excellent theatrical presence and done live. Um, phenomenal for the age, looking at the age, 9.5. If I could have given a 10, I would. Um, Vladislav Vasitsky, pop vocals, 11 to 14 year old. I gave nine out of 10. It was a Bond type song, male vocal, very good. Rare, very inspiring at his age. Um, writing on the wall titled, very, very good, excellent. Um, Anastasia Hordunko, 11 to 14 year old, age group, nine out of 10 for the song. It's a live cabaret, Britney Spears, live. Um, oops, I did it again. It was uh, quirky, uh, enjoyable, um, had a different feel from the others. And uh, I don't think it had the extra help for it. It would have been a studio, so it's done live on a phone. Uh, and she did a couple like that, which were all very good. This was the slightly better one, well done. The next one was Morosvskaya, Polina, a pop vocals, 15 to 17 years old, live to a crowd, and I gave uh, 10 out of 10 for this. It was live on stage, different mix, slower than the original, it was Rihanna, excellent voice, don't stop the music, energetic performance, fantastic. The next one, Tiona, uh, no video to this, uh, just a screensaver, very diva-esque, um, a haunting song, good story, 9 out of 10, uh, possibly done in the studio. Um, pop vocals, Horod Ninjenko, um, piano uh, um, accompanied this. The voice was strong, um, wasn't af afraid to reach the, vo the heights of the vocals. Um, so I think fantastic uh, in, in spite of that. Uh, Zeni Konovoleva uh, was done live, her song, it's 8 out of 10, um, with a guitar backing, uh, no studio effects. And then the last that I'll talk about is Christina and Sayoga, and that was a duet. It was one of my most enjoyable ones to listen to because it was so different. There weren't many people that entered together, and a female and male. The male playing the guitar on this occasion, and the female was excellently covering and singing. I gave nine out of ten for that. So, so concludes today's uh, synopsis, but all deserve praise. Well done, and I look forward to seeing again new entries. For me, JD, days, Rod Knight. Peace and love. Well done.